jazz, known around the world as one of America's most influential art forms. Join the Rick Savage Trio in exploring and explaining how one iconic jazz pioneer, Miles Davis, pushed the cutting edge of the entire jazz genre to dramatic change five times during his broad career. So one of the things that made Miles Davis endeared to many of his fans was that he had a penchant for choosing pop music of the era. The first example probably was a song called Someday My Prince Will Come, which came from a Walt Disney movie. And as his career went on, he chose uh, several other things that were influential. Um, Bye Bye Blackbird is a song that almost everyone's grandmother is familiar with. Throughout a 60 to 90 minute performance presentation, trumpeter Rick Savage will lead his group in detailing and performing the many qualities in Miles Davis music that meant exciting change for the jazz genre in the 20th century. One of the major changes to jazz that Miles is responsible for is evident in his 1959 recording, Kind of Blue, for Columbia Records, a somber, moody collection of original songs like All Blues, making Kind of Blue the best-selling jazz record ever. So Miles Davis had um, a who's who of bass players that played with him over his entire career. Well, all of them, I think, actually were really influential, especially to other bass players. And Miles always picked bass players that, and musicians in general, that um, kind of had their own thing, their own sound. The pianists that uh, have worked with Miles Davis throughout his career have been incredibly influential in his development. Uh, starting in the bebop period with Al Haig and Bud Powell had an incredible influence on Miles' music as he did on theirs. <laughs> 